YouTube's always giving me a hard time. You know how it is. One second here. Let's make sure this is framed. Oh, pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's get started. <clears throat> Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Chris Legospi, and today we're going to do some some quick sketches and uh, portrait sketches, um, gesture for head drawing, uh, basically uh, warm up type sketches. I just wanted to demonstrate ways that you can draw in a more gestural way. You can draw. Uh, you can sketch. Uh, and practice um, your head drawing skills in a short amount of time. And um, this is also um, one of the first uh, prompts for my head drawing challenge, Earth's World uh, Drawing Challenge that's going on this month, November 1st to November 30th, and that's what you're looking at here. These are some of the drawings I did yesterday for day one of the challenge. And here we have some beautiful uh, photography from earthsworld.com. If you haven't heard of it, it's a, he's a wonderful photographer that takes these beautiful street candid photos. So we're going to be drawing from, from his beautiful work. <clears throat> and if you want to learn more about uh, head drawing, portrait drawing, or if you want to join my 30-day uh, drawing challenge, all you have to do is go to www.drawwithchris.com. And there you can see the challenge page and read more about it. Or if you want to download more head drawing and portrait drawing resources and lessons and downloads, you can enter your email and join my free Insiders Club email list, and you'll be good to go. So let's begin here. And before we begin, comment below, where are you located? Where are you watching from and what time is it for you? I am currently in Thailand myself and it's Thursday evening for me. <clears throat> so thank you for being here wherever you are. So we're going to start with some, we're going to start with some uh, loose gestural poses. These are more warm-up type drawings and I got my little reference here my iPads here let's see if I can if I can do this without too much trouble here on the iPad and I'm just going to go through a page this page is from earthsworld.com so definitely check out his photography and it's the 2013 Portland Rose Festival <laughs> that's how he has it indexed here so wonderful faces to draw and I'm not going to time myself, but I do have a clock that I'm looking at here. So we're going to start with some one minute gesture, gesture warm up. It's just to get loose and practice. So I'll start with this uh, young man over here. And when you do these kind of warm-ups, I personally like to draw long lines. And you know you want to draw from your arm, not from your not from your wrist. And uh, the order you see me drawing is this is just the 
system that I'm comfortable with, that I've been practicing for a while, and that I also teach. So if you like, if you want to learn more from me, uh, definitely check out all the resources I have on my website. I also have a full <clears throat> head drawing program, a very uh, detailed 16-week program. Check that out. So I got about a minute down, and that's pretty good. For a minute, that's a nice little warm-up. I got the nice shape in. Pretty happy with that. Let's try this young lady right here. Let's see if you make her face bigger. So long lines. And the most important thing is, too, you want to... Um, Allow yourself to, to warm up, just to draw and sketch. Because a lot of times, you know, we want, to, um, <clears throat> we want to do finished drawings every time. We want to, um, every drawing we do, we want it to be perfect. We want it to be able to post it on Instagram or whatever you use, Facebook. Um, but for these type of drawings, these are, these are for you, you know. You want to... Draw as if no one's watching, no one's judging. <laughs> she has a very unique kind of roundish, blocky shape. Definitely want to get it, that in there. And let me drop in her ear so we know what's going on here. So for a little over a minute, that's pretty good. Let's do one more of these little warm-ups. Let's see, who else can we find here? There's a <laughs> unique face uh, young lady here. Let's see if I can get down on camera. Okay, this is good. And I'm using a pen here. You can use whatever medium you enjoy. Pencil is perfectly fine. You see how long my lines are? Very long, very fluid. So this is good practice for drawing longer lines. And notice the gesture right away. The gesture of the head is quite simple. It's basically the outer shape and the direction they're looking. This line, the center line of the face, is also, you, you would consider that the gesture. And then each individual feature has gesture, just like the human figure. All the smaller forms have gesture as well. So that's why um, it's good to practice uh, time poses and quick sketching, because it just reminds you that, um, you know, it reminds you the importance of drawing loose and drawing long lines, drawing very fluid in the beginning, especially in the beginning. Okay, so there's another one. So very quick little warm-ups. Let's try uh, a little longer one. Let me try um, undercut drawing. You may be curious what the heck that is. There you go, I have a nice pencil. So undercup drawing is when you hold Undercup drawing is when you hold the pencil like this under your thumb. 
This is a classic writing grip is what I call it. And this is the undercut grip. You see the difference? And this way you can sketch with the side of it. So you do need a bit of a long lead. And let's do, um, let's do two minute. Two minute undercut. Let's try that. So let's find a nice, uh, and again, I'm not going to time myself strictly, but I am looking at a watch. Okay, so let me make sure I got, <laughs> I got no space on camera here. Let me see if you can see me. Here, it looks pretty good. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'll try to do, keep it within two minutes. And again, very loose. Undercut drawing forces you to draw loose. That's what I like about it. It's a great way to practice. So I got about a minute left. <clears throat> so if you just joined us, we're doing some um, quick sketching demonstrations here. We just finished some one minute poses. Now I'm gonna do, uh, now I'm doing a undercup sketching. And this is holding your pencil underneath your thumb to get more variety of marks. You see, I can do this with uh, undercut. Draw with the side of the pencil. It's great for quickly adding some tone. But we don't want to focus too much on the tone today. It's more about warming up. And looks like time is up for me. So that's good. I was about to get busy into details, and we know we don't. We know we don't want to do that at this stage. Let's do another one here. Let's find a, a nice one here. I like this. Uh, let's try this young fellow over here. Another two-minute undercut pose. I get it on camera here. And you see this line, that's the gesture. This is also a gesture, the eye line. The center line is also a gesture. But this line right here is the main thrust. We'll call that G. That's the main thrust of this pose, this particular head pose. So um, if you're not uh, studied or versed in how to see and capture a gesture. It's definitely something very important. Obviously, uh, life drawing is a great way to practice because you have more to work with. Um, in the human head, it doesn't move that much, really. So, um, the gesture will be more subtle, but once you practice enough with the figure, you'll be able to... Uh, You'll be able to uh, see it in all forms, not just heads and faces, but you'll see it in every form, including uh, smaller forms like features, like body parts, anatomy. I'm almost out of time here.
and you see with undercut you can quickly use the side of the pencil to make a different mark and you could go um, to the point and make a nice crisp mark you see that that's the advantage of uh, undercut drawing so it's definitely um, a good way to become a better draftsman because it's quite difficult too and once you can draw undercut you can go back to pencil grip fairly easily you'll feel like you have a superpower because your dexterity will improve so much and I'm over my two minutes here <laughs> that, that's okay that's okay we're not doing strict time poses but if you are fortunate enough to go to life drawing I'm very jealous of you I haven't been <laughs> to a life drawing in a while Okay, that's a good stopping point for this one. So if you excuse me one minute, I'm gonna grab some brush pens. Okay, thank you for uh, joining me today. And don't forget, if you, um, if you want to learn more from me or if you want to join my drawing challenge, you can go to www.drawwithchris.com and there you can read the uh, challenge page, get more information, and you can join my private uh, Discord. And there you'll be able, you know, you'll be inspired to draw every day for 30 days. You'll be able to join a nice supportive community. And um, we get weekly prompts as well as prizes at the end of the challenge. So go to www.drawwithchris.com. There you can enter your email and join my free insider's email list. And uh, you get access to um, live streams and more head drawing content like this as well as, uh, as, well as um, updates on the drawing challenge. Interesting young lady here. Uh, where's my brush pen? So what I'm going to do now oops, is I'm going to practice under cup drawing, but I'm going to use a brush pen. This is a Sakura brush pen. And what's cool about this is you can also write with it. So we'll call this... Um, I'm sitting down right now. It's uncomfortable. Under cup, oh Jesus! Under cup sketching. Oh, I need to practice my writing. Under cup sketching, five minutes. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Actually, I'm sitting down right now, so it's really awkward. All right, let's try this. Let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna start the timer here. Looking at the clock.
even though I have more time, I still want to be loose and gestural. You don't want to forget the uh, lessons you learned from the shorter poses. Definitely exaggerated her hair, but that's okay. Notice how pretty that gesture looks, though. It's exactly what we want in her gesture. Long and pretty. We don't want to make marks like this. No, we don't. We don't do that. We go shoom, shoom. Uh, it's a lot more difficult in a pen, <laughs> obviously. So if you just joined us or you're watching on replay, we're doing some uh, head quick sketch, gesture drawing demonstrations here. This is part of the uh, Earth's World Head Drawing Challenge that's going on right now. And um, that's the uh, reference we're using here. Earth'sworld.com, full of beautiful reference. And I'm doing some under cup sketching here, but I got still got plenty of time left actually. Let me add some tone since I got time. And I could also use uh, under cup for pencil, of course. Doesn't have to be a brush pen. In fact, uh, I only recommend a brush pen if you're very uh, used to it used to pen drawing. You can tell it's been a while for me. So you can see the range of beautiful marks you can get with, uh, with undercut drawing. And like I said, if you're new to this, you may wonder, why would I want to do that? It's a great way to improve your overall dexterity. Because when you go back to pencil grip, the normal grip, you'll feel like a superhero because this is quite difficult. And it engages different muscles in your hand, obviously. So the more muscles you have in your hand that are fine-tuned, that are refined and um, uh, you're able to use, You'll, uh, you'll be able to call upon them when it comes time to do more refined drawings and things, make difficult strokes and difficult marks. You'll have that, that mileage. That's something that uh, I talk about a lot in my channel here. And that's a pretty good stopping point here. I don't got too much to work with on that pose. Let me find a one that I have some more meat to work with here. Here's a nice young man right here.
All right, and um, so we're gonna do another five minute pose here using undercut. We're gonna see, uh, it's a bit tricky for me, I'm, uh, I'm in an awkward position. Here's the gesture, oh my God. I'm in a very awkward position so I can't fully rotate my hand on while well, making this video normally I would rotate my hand so that's my excuse the drawing turns out a bit wonky yeah these marks see how ugly my marks are see right to my right of my hand there's the camera arm there's this metal arm holding up the lights and the camera for this video so I can't fully extend my elbow and normally I would rotate my paper. Let me just do that, this is crazy. See these marks are kind of wonky. They're very short. I don't like that. So obviously with a pen, I only got one chance. I can't sketch. I gotta get it right on the first pass. It's both a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because you only have one chance, you make a mistake and you have to start all over. But that's also a blessing too, because in mistakes, mistakes is where the learning comes in. And when you make enough painful mistakes, and we've all been there. We've all done nice drawings. And at the very end, we kind of mess it up. Or maybe he messed it up somewhere in the beginning. This is just very awkward to draw on a camera. These lines are very wonky. my excuse. I swear, I can draw better when I'm not recording, I swear. Because I'm standing in an awkward position too. The camera is above the drawing, so I kind of got to move my body and head around the camera, so it's a very weird position. It's not comfortable at all. So that's why my you have to forgive my, my lines here. They're not very pretty. But they're, they're, they're doing the job. I'm just, it's a miracle. It's a miracle I can get this far. <clears throat> but it's not about a pretty drawing, right? I just, I just mentioned that earlier. This is about practicing. It's about warming up getting your hand loose, and really getting ready for the rest of the month, you know, because uh, if you're taking part in this drawing challenge, or if you're like me and you try to draw every day, or if you do draw every day, you know that um, it's, it's a marathon, really. Becoming an artist is more of a marathon than it is a sprint. It just takes a lot of time and repetition to get anything done. Okay, 
switching to a colored pencil here. Black Prismacolor, just so I can get some tone down. But you, you don't have to do this. You can work totally in pen. That would be great, too. And I'm pretty sure I'm almost out of time here. There you go, that's a pretty good stopping point right there. All right, it's a good stopping point. Uh, previous one, <laughs> not that sexy. So thank you for joining me, it's a good stopping point here. Um, so those of you who are doing the 30 day challenge, I appreciate all the posts and the comments in our Discord and Instagram. If you'd like to join our challenge and join, join our community, the challenge is completely free, and there's going to be prizes at the end of the month. So go to www.drawwithchris.com, and there you can uh, join my free Insiders Club email list to get access to more videos and downloads. And you can also read about the challenge on the challenge page on my website. So I appreciate you being here. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.